Okay, let's talk about some cell signaling mechanisms. Very exciting. Well, I hope you can see this slide, but let's just talk about the basics of uh, endocrine signaling, paracrine signaling, autocrine signaling, neurotransmitter signaling, and neuroendocrine signaling. So first off, endocrine signaling. Endocrine cells secrete a polypeptide or steroid hormone into the blood vessel and the hormone is then carried to a target cell which may be located at a considerable distance from the secreting cell. An example of a polypeptide hormone is thyrotropic hormone secreted by the hypothesis and acting on the thyroid gland. An example of a steroid hormone is estradiol which is produced by the ovaries and acting on the endometrium. Okay, paracrine signaling. In this case, paracrine cells secrete hormones or growth factors that act on adjacent cells. Examples are glucagon and somatostatin acting on adjacent cells of the islets of Langerhans that secrete insulin. Then we have autocrine signaling and in this case hormones or growth factors such as prostaglandins and interleukins can act on the originating cell and exert an autocrine control. How about neurotransmitter signaling? In response to a neural signal, neurons secrete neurotransmitters from the axon terminals to activate adjacent neurons. So this is a signaling event and then last we have the uh, neuroendocrine signaling. In response to a neural signal, neuroendocrine cells secrete a hormone into the blood to travel to a target organ. An example is norepinephrine, uh, which acts on the hepatocytes and the adipocytes. So remember the basics here of cell signaling mechanisms as we talk a little bit more detail.